Hello friends, welcome. Uh, in this video, I'm going to make the relationship table with the reservation and display here the table name. And also when we create a new, when we make a new reservation, I want to uh, validate the date here. So right now we can choose the date from the 21 or from the 35, 36 and so on and also the time but I want to allow users to pick up the date only from uh, now two weeks and also I'm going to add the time from uh, 5 p.m. to 11 p.m. so it's up to you, you can customize that okay so let's start with the uh, uh, relationship table with reservation and we need to go to the table model and make the relationship method here so create a function with name reservations okay and we need to return this this has many and add the reservation model reservation class okay let's open the reservation model and do the same thing so create a function with name table now singular and here return dollar sign of this now these belong to the table class okay let's save this and let me do one more thing here let's copy this quick go to the reservation add it here and change the protected class to be protected dates and add the rest date here so copy and paste it here Let's save it and also close this one. Now uh, in the index of a reservation, let uh, in the table we need to add because we have a relationship. Let add table name. Save it. Close this one. Go to the browser and the refresh, and now we have the table name here good now let's go and work with validation here because if i choose any date we can add it for that i'm going to create a rule two rules here one for the date and one for the time so artisan make rule and we need to give it a name so i'm going to say uh, date between and also the same thing, just change the date to be time between. Very good. Go to the browser to the VS Code and open the date between. And uh, now here we need to make the, log the logic and return boolean. And I'm going to say uh, dollar sign. I'm going to say pick up date. Pick up date like this is going to be with a carbon and parse the value. Now the value is the this one here. And after that, I'm going to add now the last date because the from now is going to be now. So I'm going to say last date, last date to be carbon now and uh, not November, no. And here you can add also the time zones, but I'm going to leave, to leave uh, default and I'm going to add, you can add day, days at the uh, 
month, but I'm going to add a week. And uh, now let's return dollar sign value. Here I want to say the value is going to be greater or equal to the to now. So at this moment and I want to say dollar sign value to be smaller or equal to the last date. So last date and also let's change now the the message for this uh, rule and I'm going to say please uh, choose the date between two weeks or one week between a week from now. So we can, we also can can add two weeks here, but let's see for one week. And let's save this. Open now the reservation store request. So reservation store request. And when we have the rest date, let add also with add the date itself here. And let add now new and the date between a rule we created. So date between okay save this go to the browser and the refresh and let's choose uh today so it's 22 let's say store and we have uh errors from all the fields except the reservation date so let's uh, refresh this and say here now to choose a date we are today 22 let's choose 20 and we expect to, to have an error here in the date let's say store and we have there please choose the date between a week from now let the refresh and see so week is from 22 to 28 let's choose 30 and let's uh, say store and also we have an error again refresh let's choose now the 26 we don't expect error right now okay store and also we don't have error good let's work with the uh, time now so open the time between okay and we are going to do almost the same so let's say here dollar sign pick uh, pick up date is going to be with a carbon and parse the value okay after that i'm going to create the also the pick up time because here we are going to work with time so pick up Time is going to be uh, carbon, and I'm going to say create from time. Okay, and here we need to add the pickup date hour, also dollar sign pickup date minute, and the second so let's sign pick up date second now we have the pick up time let's uh, create the earliest time which is where the restaurant expected the guests so let's say dollar sign so when the restaurant is open okay and here i'm going to say the last sign earliest time to be 
carbon okay and create from time string from time string and let add the time here so i'm going to add 5 pm here okay let's uh, duplicate this so copy and duplicate and change to be the last time this one so last time and the last time is going to be 23 okay and now i'm going to say return return like this and dollar sign pick up time and i'm going to say between between the earliest time and the last time so dollar sign earliest time and the last time and now if this is true return true otherwise return false okay and here i'm going to say uh please choose the time between 5 p.m to, to 11 p.m like this and let's save this go to the reservation store and add also this rule here so new and time between okay let's save it go to the browser and refresh and let's choose to see if the date work again 20 and we have please choose a date between a week from now okay now let's choose the date today and the time we are that between 5 p.m and 11 so i'm going to choose yeah this time here we expect to have an error for time so and yeah please choose the time between 5 to 11. okay refresh let's choose the time to be 11 and what okay 11 and just add one minute here to see okay click store and yeah we have the please choose the time between 5 to 11 let's choose the right time now so i'm going to say 6 and say store and now we get all uh, errors for the older fields but not for the reservation date so that's it uh, how we can validate the date that's it for this video hope you enjoy friends and see you in the next one if you like like the video and subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video all the best